EA has been hammered by the Madden community prior to the release of Madden 21 due to a perceived lack of innovation over the past several years. With modes like Madden Ultimate Team and Face of the Franchise being the primary focus, other modes and features have been left by the wayside, including Franchise Mode, so much so that the hashtags Fix Madden Franchise and NFL Drop EA have trended on Twitter in recent weeks. EA addressed these concerns prior to launch, promising changes in the future. Now that Madden 21 is out, gamers can now see if EA lived by their promise. Despite tighter gameplay, a positive change to rush mechanics, and a slight upgrade to presentation, glitches and a case of more of the same results in a game that is a disappointment and disgrace to NFL simulation video game football. It's unfortunate that Madden 21 has a ton of issues, which I'll get into later in this review, because the core gameplay, when it does work, is actually pretty solid. Don't expect any drastic changes from last year, but the small updates that were made make for a more fun experience with the sticks. The biggest change in my mind is actually on the defensive side of the ball, where you now use the right stick to make moves as a defensive lineman. Power and speed moves are no longer done by pressing a designated button at a certain time. In Madden 21, power moves are mapped to the right stick, while a speed rush can be done by using the right trigger or R2. It's a more intuitive way to play as a defensive lineman, and I found myself doing so more than in past Madden games. Outside of new Superstar X factors, the other gameplay changes in Madden 21 are pretty minor. In fact, some might argue that the changes are equivalent to a Madden 20 patch update. Gameplay is generally tighter and faster. You'll see a few new animations, along with some glitch animations which I'll get into later, and there have been several tuning changes on both sides of the ball that result in an overall better gameplay experience when it actually does work. Go ahead and do a quick search on Twitter for Madden 21 glitches and you'll be entertained for hours on end. The game was and still is littered with glitches at launch, some old and others new. I personally experienced a number of glitches with my time with the game so far, including the dreaded Washington Field glitch and a weird one where a drop pass was ruled a catch. In addition to the glitches, I've also experienced frame rate drops on the PS4 version of the game as well. Now these issues are inexcusable at launch. Now it doesn't matter if we are in a transition period to next gen, and it doesn't matter if we're in the middle of a pandemic, a lot of these glitches are from last year's game. There's no excuses here. It's disappointing for those who simply want a solid NFL sim, one in which gamers have no choice but to buy Madden if they want such an experience. Now I can get into other aspects of Madden 21 from a graphics perspective, but these issues supersede any improvements EA could have made. It doesn't even matter man, the game looks exactly the same as last year's game. Player models in general look pretty good, stadiums are replicated well, the same low polygon crowds and sideline players make a return, coaches and player faces are hit or miss, jerseys don't get dirty in the rain still, it's basically the same old same old. EA gave Madden 21 a refresh with the in-game presentation package, and it's one of the few good things about Madden 21. The stat overlays are slick and clean, the replays and transitions flow well within the game, new in-game cutscenes are a nice touch, and the in-game announcers in Brandon Godden and Charles Davis make a return, and they do a solid job calling games. However, there are several presentation issues that have plagued Madden for years that still exist in Madden 21. Halftime and post-game shows still lack polish and are essentially a copy and paste job from previous years. And although the pre-game presentation got a refresh, there are still cutscenes we've seen in prior Maddens. Gamers have been clamoring for presentation that mimics a real-life broadcast, similar to what we've seen in NFL 2K5. And yet here we are, in 2020, and EA still hasn't matched that. EA can simply do better. As a gamer who primarily plays franchise mode and doesn't have the need or want to play Madden Ultimate Team, I'll admit that when Fix Madden Franchise started trending on Twitter, I was pretty damn happy. 
The mode hasn't been updated in years, and it's no different in Madden 21. This is a straight up copy and paste of last year's franchise mode, and if you dug deep into franchise last year, expect the exact same experience this time around. Same practice mode, same news and draft stories, same way to upgrade your players, you get the picture. EA chose to place its focus not on franchise, but on a new mode called The Yard. Right away when playing this mode, I felt like this was EA's way of creating their version of NBA 2K's My Career mode, in which you can create an individual player, customize him with new gear, assign abilities, and compete in 6 on 6 football games under rules similar to NFL Street or NFL Blitz. The Avatar Creator suite is not very deep, so don't expect NBA 2K levels of customization here. It is a nice distraction for those who are looking for a change of pace, but it's not something sim gamers would or should invest in. Face of the Franchise makes a return in Madden 21 and the storyline this year revolves around reliving your player's rise to the Hall of Fame beginning from high school. Although the player customization suite isn't deep, in fact expect the same setup as last year, I'm generally enjoying the mode so far. Although I've heard of some glitches with this mode as well, I haven't experienced any during my time with this part of the game. Now other than that, the other modes are pretty much the same. Madden Ultimate Team is EA's moneymaker and makes a return, Superstar KO is back, and online head-to-head -head is an option that unfortunately remains the same as in previous years. Critics have rightfully bashed Madden 21 since its release. The solid gameplay and tweaked presentation doesn't make up for the game's lack of polish and is a general copy and paste of last year's game. EA essentially put lipstick on a pig with Madden 21, and unless you haven't bought a Madden game in several years, gamers should simply steer away from this game.